Welcome to the Feminine Truth Podcast with Mary Miranda, a place where you can reconnect with your wild, cyclical, and fierce truth. I am Mary Miranda, a mentor, coach, healer, and intuitive. I guide women on a journey of remembrance, reconnection, and embodiment of who they are, their essence, power, and truth by reawakening the power of their feminine energy, womb, and menstrual cycles. Join me each week to indulge in raw, unedited, and unfiltered topics to help women own and step into their divine feminine truth and become unshakable, unapologetic, and bold in who they truly are. Let's jump into today's conversation. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into this beautiful episode where I'm going to tell you all about what this podcast is and everything. Welcome to Feminine Truth Podcast with me, Mary Miranda. I am your host. I am a first generation Mexican healer, mentor, coach, and intuitive guide for women. And my intention with this podcast is to provide amazing wisdom and medicine to help women own and step into their divine feminine truth, power, and become unshakable, unapologetic, and bold and bold in who they are. These conversations will be raw, unedited, unfiltered around so many topics such as feminine liberation, sacred menstruation, I'm very into menstrual cycles, as you're going to know, womb healing, feminine lunar cycles, feminine masculine energy, polarity, sexuality, sex, anything, religious shame, men, relationships, intuition, trauma, inner child healing, the patriarchy, oppression, decolonization, taboo topics, and all the things spiritual and witchy, and many things that people don't really talk about. And I just feel this huge pull to start talking about things that I have been just wanting to dive into conversations with women. And I wanted to create that space. So for the longest time, I've had the pull to create this podcast. Last year, I had everything ready to launch. Everything was ready, the name, the social media pages, the graphics, everything was ready to launch and someone else launched the podcast with the name Feminine Truth. I was devastated. I was so sad and upset that it took me forever to do it. And when I finally was going to do it, somebody else had the name, so I couldn't launch it. And then COVID happened. And I decided to put the project on hold as I was traveling to Mexico to drive my mom because she was not doing well here. And um, I live in Chicago. And so I decided to just go and drive her there because she was just having so much panic and anxiety around COVID. And it just felt so much safer to drive her there. So I did that and I ended up staying there. I was stuck there for the longest time. And I just felt like, okay, maybe it's for a reason that somebody took the name. I'm just going to take that as a sign and put this on hold. And then I was thrown into so much stuff um, living in Mexico with my parents. And I dove deeper into my healing, deeper into my roots, um, into my ancestors, into healing my feminine, masculine lineage into just getting in tune with my Mexican roots, learning about my ancestry, learning about so many things that made the foundation of who I am. And it was just like, oh my God, this is there's a reason why I am here in Mexico, stuck. There's a reason why I didn't launch the podcast. It would have been there, not the wrong topic, but I think I had so many much more lessons to learn to bring into this conversation. So everything was for the greater good. And now I came back and I was just still searching for the name. I'm like, oh my God, what is going to be the name? I really feel the pull to uh, launch a podcast. And I am a sacred, uh, sacral energy generator. So I listen to my um, human design. I listen to my sacral um, authority all the time. And it was always like, yes, yes. And so many people will be like, you'll be so good in a podcast because I've been interviewed before. And I've always had the pull and I've responded to it like, yes, it's a hell yes. It's like, oh my God, yes, I'm so lit up. I'm so excited. So I finally said, you know what? It's time. I picked another name and 
oh my god i have no idea how i still googled the name um not google but searched the name on itunes feminine truth and the name was no longer taken the beautiful woman had changed the name for her podcast i don't know why that happened but i am so thankful and it was it was just oh my god i got goosebumps it was just a sign that it's like okay mary it's time for you to take the leap and launch this podcast and i think part of it was this fear that what are people going to think about the topics that i want to bring up especially as a latina in the united states as a daughter of immigrants first generation as someone who has been raised very catholic like what are people going to think oh my gosh and it's like i had to work through that fear and i said you know what it's okay. I'm going to walk with this fear. I'm going to walk with me speaking about topics that my people will, women in my lineage and women in my country and many other women have been suppressed uh, to talk about and that have been oppressed too. And not only my lineage, not only my uh, heritage, but everyone, like so many women. So I said, you know what? It is okay. Let's just trust. Let's have faith. Let's sleep into this. It's time. It's time. It's time. And it is time. <laughs> and I am so excited. So I have been desiring, honestly, to connect with women very deep. Like, I cannot do small talk. Like, small talk to me is like a no-no. It. I just can't. I get this whole full body no 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 it's icky I don't like it this is another reason why I don't like networking events because that's what you do like hey what's your name what do you do and it's just like no I want to dive deeper and connect with women I just want to have those deep conversations I don't like surface level conversations I want to go deep I want the vulnerable I want the open heart conversations I want you to feel safe in my presence and my energy and trust and have this beautiful deep connected conversation i want connection and i connect through conversations especially when you allow me to go into your world into your life and learn more about you than what people see right so this podcast is also going to be unedited raw and unfiltered like i mentioned before so it's a it's a little bit of a fear because i have an accent and sometimes i don't pronunciate pronounce words correctly but i said you know what whatever like if people have to know my voice my personality that sometimes i butcher words sometimes my english is not correct sometimes i struggle but it is part of me my identity who i am and it kind of makes like i end up like making fun of it because it's hilarious sometimes that i just cannot pronounce some words so bear with me if sometimes you hear those you know it's part of who i am so i know you're gonna get to learn that more and more but um, I also desire to, I desire to create this uh, where I could have like this real run filter and edited conversations with women and talk about topics that no one really talks about. Like I mentioned, the taboo, the unforbidden, the everything we put in the shadow that, oh my God, you cannot talk about that. How dare you like hide it underneath the covers, underneath the carpet. Like, no, it's time to to shed light on those topics. It's time to bring those topics to the surface because this is what's gonna help us evolve and grow and heal the collective. And I also desire to create a space where there's this energy of safety and share the truth and wisdom that comes out when we shed light on these topics and bring them to light. I wanna go deep and have heart-to-heart conversations with women where we take off our armor, our masks, our walls, where where our walls are down, when we open our hearts and we just go in. Because a lot of times I've noticed that people do small talk because they don't know how to connect. We have all this armor, walls, all these coping mechanisms that we have developed to protect ourselves from you know, getting hurt from opening our hearts because it, it's painful, right? The disappointment, the heartbreak and all of that are where we are let down. But it is safe to trust and it is safe to open your heart, put the armor, take it off, put it down, remove the walls, open up. It is safe because you can handle it. You can handle anything. And I hope this podcast helps you remember that it's already inside of you you just need to remember so i desire i desire you to feel safe and in this podcast and that you can trust 
to have these conversations. And I want to have conversations like, I want you to feel like we're having coffee or tea and you're there with us. We're having like this table discussion and just like sisterhood. Like I crave that so much. And I'm really excited to have these conversations and talk about things that we're so afraid. And I want to open the curtains for these conversations and see if more people can start having them, like among them. Or even if you message us, like, I want to know what resonated with you, what didn't. Like, your feedback is going to be so valuable. And I want to have, like, this ripple effect on the Divine Feminine Collective and also the Masculine Collective because it's a union. And I just feel that these conversations are going to help so many people because they are going to see themselves in our conversations. And they are going to know that they are not alone, that they are not alone that more women are experiencing this it's just that we're not talking about them right so i am creating this to help women remember and reconnect with their deep dark wild cyclical nature (laughs) and herself i am creating this to help women awaken the power of their wombs and menstrual cycles because that is so important to me as you're gonna get to know more and more later on as the episodes roll in and i am creating this to Okay, that was so weird. I, I started hearing an echo, my voice. And so I stopped the other recording and I'm just adding this to it because it's unedited. I want it to be as raw as possible because we all make mistakes and we just have to roll with the punches and laugh about it and be okay with it and know that we're not perfect and we're perfect as it is, right? Perfectly imperfect. <laughs> so as I was saying, I am creating this to bring back um, pretty much like ancestral wisdom that was suppressed by the toxic patriarchy and colonization and awaken women today because a lot of us are asleep because I have been there. It is our job to bring back these practices of deep inner knowing and connection. It is time to for us to wake up. And there's a reason why we just put these practices and everything we're going to be talking about to sleep, to rest, suppressed, and under the rug because it was part of our way to survive, right? In this highly masculine paradigm. Uh, So it makes me so excited to guide women on a journey of remembrance, reconnection, and embodiment of their essence, their truth, power, and who they really are at their core because a lot of us forget that. And I pretty much do this by reawakening the power of their feminine energy, their womb, and their menstrual cycles, which you are going to get to know more of that. And it's going to be so amazing. And I want to bring also men into the conversations and hear their voice too. And maybe we can find healing within their voice and how they feel, right? Because not all men are bad as we have been taught by the society or by us being hurt by men. Like that's the toxic masculine, the disempowered masculine. That is the toxic patriarchy, which is not all men. There's men that are in their divine masculine, that are amazing, that are good, that are just like here to honor us women and to lead us and to guide us and to help us more than anything. And it's like help each other, right? This is not just like a one is better than the other because I don't believe in that. I also, I'm going to be also talking about feminist because that is like a huge thing that um, it's going to be very controversial, but I will be doing a podcast about that later on. So this podcast is going to be for any woman that is open to hearing a different voice, point of view, and perspective around different topics that are deemed as taboo, such as the menstrual cycles, the womb power, feminine energy, witchiness, and many other things. This podcast is for the woman that desires to be more of who she is. This is for the woman that has always wanted to hear or be in conversations where these topics will be talked about, but there was no container or no one she felt safe to share these stories with. Well, this is a container for you because this is not only for me, this is for you, for me, and for us, for us together. So this is not only my project, this is our project because I'm going to be bringing in so many amazing women to share their stories with. 
So this is also for the women that is here that are cycle breakers of the family, the pattern disruptors, the generational healers of the family, the black sheep of the family. I am one of them and it's been a tough job. It's been such a tough job to be the one that has been so awakened that can see everything and I had to have really tough conversations of boundaries around so many things with my family and it's still not it's still very um very <laughs> how can I say it um we still don't have the best relationship because I am so different I've always been kind of like the rebel but not in a bad way it's just like going against the rules questioning and all of that so it's always been kind of like this tension with my family but it's gotten to the point that I have such a beautiful relationship with each member of my family and that's the most important thing I believe you can be a family and not all not all of us are going to get along but if I make the work and the if I take my responsibility to do my part and if my goal is to have a really beautiful relationship with each of them and that's what it is and that's what I have right now and it's very, very exciting because it, I've come a long way. And you're going to hear more about that as soon as I get permission from my family members to talk about our stuff uh, because I have to respect their privacy and boundaries. But overall, it's going to be not only about me, the stories is going to be about other women. And we're just going to have this open conversations. We're never going to point the finger. We're never going to put men down. We're never going to put anyone down. We're never going to talk bad about anyone. This is for healing. This is to grow and evolve. This is to become better. This is for anyone that just wants to hear something different, that just wants to kind of sit at a table, have a coffee, and talk about topics that have been in your mind, in your heart, but you had no one to really connect with, to have those conversations. So that is my aim for you. I am here doing this because I was called to do this work. I had, I, I really, I, I'm still like in this belief that I'm doing this work today, that I'm doing this as a, as a healer, as a coach, as a mentor, as an intuitive guide. Um, I've never saw myself doing this. I majored in biology. <laughs> Um, emphasis in health sciences and in here I am today <laughs> talking about menstrual cycles talking about feminine energy talking about womb health and talking about all the things uh, smearing blood on my face as a, as a sacred ritual to my menstrual cycle which you're going to hear about my story later on but what you can expect it's one episode every Tuesday. Some episodes will be just solo episodes with me and some will be with amazing women and also men. So right now the aim is one episode per week every Tuesday and I'm very intuitive. I'm very like if I feel like lit up to do something, I will do it on the spot. I will be like, okay, I have to do this today and I will be launching a podcast like probably on a Thursday probably on a Saturday who knows but I have to hear what my body my intuition says so but you can expect one every Tuesday for sure so I am so excited that this project is finally out it is so dear to my heart and I cannot wait what's in store uh, for this podcast and for us as we move along Thank you so much for tuning in and being part of this conversation. And I really hope you come back for next Tuesday for the next conversation. You can find us, me pretty much, <laughs> my podcast or anything around the podcast or the guest on um, Facebook and Instagram on their Feminine Truth Podcast. All their information will be in the show notes. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing rest of the day, week, whatever time you're listening to this. I love you. You're amazing. And I cannot wait to have this conversation with you again. Bye. Thank you so much for being part of this conversation for Feminine Truth Podcast. This podcast is for you for me, for us, for the Feminine Collective. Thank you so much for spending your time and energy with us. Share on Instagram and Facebook stories what resonated with you. And if you're listening to this and for anyone to get a hold of this podcast at Feminine Truth Podcast, and if you feel called to, 
leave us a review let us know your thoughts let us let us know how this has felt for you listening to the podcast and the episodes are going to be every tuesday so i cannot wait to see you next time sending so much love